Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 13 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. Today we have a couple more games in the Premier League. First up against Swansea and then against Crystal Palace as we're uh, pushing to the January transfer window. Uh, obviously in January it's a good opportunity to sign some new players and of course one player has left for sure now. Um, Chris Smalling moved 12 mil into Southampton so uh, yeah, he could bring in some decent funds. Uh, we'll see. And also, of course, um, I do have my new skin. You would have seen it earlier um, in my journeyman save. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty good, a bit different. But yes, uh, Smalling will uh, be going out. So we'll get that money. It might contribute because, of course, we do have Victor Valdez coming in. So if we do sell De Gea and then we sell Rooney as well, who I really want to get rid of. He's not a good player uh, <laughs> to manage for me like you may have seen uh, past episodes. And yeah, we can bring in maybe a big striker because as I've said, you know, Van Persie's aging and also Falcao will be leaving next season. So it's a really good opportunity. Or with that money, we could sign Falcao permanently. But again, because Falcao is like almost 30 or something, like we'll just go team selection now. Uh, Falcao, of course, he's been good. He's been a solid striker this season. Look, six goals and eight starts in the league. That's pretty solid. You get what you pay for him. Uh, only one problem with this skin, I keep uh, checking for show attribute changes, but sometimes it goes off. But um, yeah, Falcao, it cost $46 million to sign him. Probably a bit too much, especially for a uh, 28-year-old. He'll be 29 in February, so yeah, I don't know. It will be kind of like the Van Persie signing, though. Like They signed him around that age, around 30, so I don't know. He'll definitely make an impact right away, um, like he is now. So we'll go in. Um, also, to show you, yeah, what's the team looking like? And of course, like as the, uh, like I said, I would play that Middlesbrough game off camera. It was a three nil, just expected result. Like you knew I was going to win that. Uh, too easy. De Gea had a good game, uh, a better game, and he's improving as well in some attributes. One on ones up to fourteen, communication fifteen. So he's slowly improving as well. So I know he's going to keep improving because he's only twenty four for a goalkeeper. He's going to keep getting better and better as time goes by. I don't want to sell him, but he's disruptive. I just, someone told me he may decide to stay in January, so we'll see what happens, but I'm going to have to, for the point in time, I've got to try and sell him, I've got to, yeah, put him not needed, transfer listed, so Arsenal and Monaco make some bids, because we've got Valdez coming, so we've already made the signing of the first teamer, so yeah, that's what's going to happen with that, and yeah, if we go back again, uh, to the team for today. You have Van Persie, Falcao starting up front. You got Di Maria, Mata, Carrick, Cordrado. Uh, pretty uh, experience and quality there. And the back four, Blind. Um, actually, I'll bring in Johnny Evans and put Rojo at left back. Oh, yeah, Rojo's been developing as well. He's up to 18 marking now and looks really solid. Actually been training him at left back because of uh, Luke Shaw's big injury. So, yeah, he should be playing there if I'm training him there. So, let's go. Come on, lads. We've got to keep up because if we can win here, we can really separate ourselves at least a little bit from Chelsea. It'll be a five-point gap, but Arsenal, they'll push up as well. So, the challenge now is not to win the league because, yeah, Liverpool is far away. Liverpool have just been too good. They've been too good this season, uh, only losing one game. So even Man City, it's going to be hard for them to come back. So all is now, it's to qualify for Champions League next season. If I don't, yeah, it will be a failure and I may get fired. Who knows what will happen if I don't reach that feat. But you think one of us, um, yeah, us, Chelsea or Arsenal is not going to be in Champions League at least. So it's scary to think we have to do better than both those teams. Okay, what are we going to do here? Swansea, hmm. They don't really have anyone too amazing. And just, yeah, looking at... Who's this guy, Barrow? I like to check out players like I never heard of before, but... Um, did they sign him? Uh, he must have. They must have signed him in the game. Oh, it's under... Or it's just, I don't know. Did they sign him in real life? Look at those. Look at those goals. 23 and 19. He must be good. He must be good. Uh, he looks average now. Uh, if you compare it to Premier League. But, yeah, I'll leave... that. There's no one too dangerous in my view... I guess it will be remain to be seen, yeah. Um, yeah, pick out where you left off last time out. Yeah, motivating some players. Even though De Gea is on that poor morale, I just I feel the morale of the squad has improved now. It was good to get that win in the Capital One Cup to boost it a little bit, uh, to get kind of an easy-ish game. 
But we need to continue into the league. Like I said, Champions League, that we have to. There's no excuses. We have to get Champions League for next season. Okay, oh, Falcao's picked up a knock. Yeah, not too much happening in this first half. Falcao, Van Persie, finds Di Maria, played in. Is that a pen? It is a penalty. It is given. Angel, he slid in and took out um, Di Maria on that occasion. Come on, Van Persie, we need this. Robin Van Persie, it's a goal. We go ahead 1-0. Van Persie coolly slotted that away for his 10th goal of the season to make it 1-0. Away from home against Swansea. A pretty solid yeah, solid penalty taken there by Robert Van Persie. And again, the yeah, highlights take a while to load for not really a long highlight. But nonetheless, we are in the lead 1-0. Would love to go another one before going a bit more yeah, counter kind of style. Di Maria. Oh, good chance. For he could not finish. Swansea's actually having a majority of possession. Um, I reckon we'll go on control. Maybe try and get a bit more possession, actually. But go assertive and don't get complacent. Yep. Keep the focus up. Yeah, my play. I don't know what happened, but yeah, my players seem to be getting better reactions now and uh, just everything like that. Everything seems to be going along well. Apart from, yeah, De Gea obviously still uh, pretty unhappy, but the rest of the squad looks happy. That is a good thing. So... We're going to look to make some changes here. Still, 1-0 is definitely not comfortable. Uh, Falcao hasn't had the best of games. Van Persie even got his goal. Hasn't even got over at 8 rating or 7 rating, I should say. Um, let's actually bring on Memphis Depay for Van Persie. Has, no, not Van Persie. Sorry, Falcao. And then put Depay as a complete forward support role. He's not too bad there. And... Anyone else I can bring on? Carrick on a yellow card. Now, I'm going to bring off... Ooh. Marta has not See, yeah, people are calling for me to sell Marta because he doesn't really suit into my formation. Again, the show attribute changes doesn't really... Yeah, do that. I'm not going to yeah, change my formation just to suit one player, but... Yeah, Marta, he's, he doesn't seem to be fluck, uh, being a, like an amazing player. Um, Well, often. What the hell is... We're, I'm in the wrong position, aren't I? Here we are for subs, yeah. Uh, 6.6 .6 rating, not good enough. We've got to drop for someone more, yeah, a Vitzel kind of type here. Be a bit more defensive. And yeah, might as well make three. No, no, not three subs. Because um, I could get an injury and it's only 1-0. So yeah, no pressure. Uh, for Vitzel, uh, let's go passionately and say there's a lot more to come from you. Because he's still, he's yet to be amazing. He's yet to be an amazing player. And I, I want to give him that chance because I do like him. He's so good in, yeah, different ways, uh, like different parts of his game. Come on, Depay. Look at the pace getting past play through the Quadrado. Oh, couldn't finish it. That second goal is much needed. We'll finish off with one more sub here. Uh, we'll take off Carrick and we shall bring on William Hull Hughes. Will Hughes. He'll come on deep line playmaker and we'll just say pressure is off today. And we're playing him a bit more now. You'll start seeing... Uh, Will Hughes, just playing a bit more. And then with team talk, we'll just say, what should I say with the team talk? Assertive, um, tighten up. And then, yeah, I'll go to the more, the, the counter tactic as well here. Confirm. Just hold on last 10 minutes here. And hopefully we can defend here, actually. Come on. Get to it, De Gea. Don't make an error. Oh, De Gea, what are you doing? What's that? The yellow card. I'm lucky it's not a red card. <laughs> oh, he's not back yet. He's not back yet. He's not back yet. You can't do that, yeah? Is that against the rules? Or he wasn't back yet. He wasn't even back yet. Bloody cheats. Bloody Swansea. Yep. That shouldn't have been a goal. That is rubbish. Oh, and yeah, the last highlight. I can't change any tactics. 
Ah, uh, come on. What was that? That shouldn't have been a goal. Well, it's safe to say I'm not happy with that. And again, it's just an error by De Gea. It's still... If he didn't do that stupid decision, and it wouldn't have been a goal. And he did that. So that does yeah back up my opinion to let him go. He's just... He's not confident at the club anymore. And he just lost us points there, really. It should have been three points instead of one. So up next is the home game against Crystal Palace, who are 18th right now. This is definitely a must-win game. We've been unbeaten for three games. Uh, Swansea, it should have been three wins in a row, really, uh, that era. But the way I can think about it, it is only, what, two more games before... We get a goalkeeper that actually want, that does want to play for the club, Victor Valdez. A bit more experience as well, so I can't wait to get him, and hopefully to allow yeah more interest for De Gea to leave, and even Rooney as well. Definitely want to get in another quality striker, and yeah, if we do sell De Gea and Rooney, and already selling Smalling for twelve million, you think we should bring in a decent amount of cash? So yeah, set up the team already. Some more players coming in. Herrera came in for Carrick. Anyone else? Jimenez coming in for Stones. Maybe just a different right back coming in. I like Jimenez. I reckon I'm training him as a right back. You can see he is growing uh, in that position. Uh, you can see training, fullback support position, uh, defender right. Uh, I reckon he could be a good player in that kind of position. So I guess we'll see how he develops um, in that and see how he goes today, of course. It's a good test. Uh, another test in that position for me. Or yeah, for him. Uh, for me to see how good he is. So we'll go in. Uh, who's Gutierrez, the striker? Uh, uh, Teofilo looks okay, but nothing special. Hasn't scored for them. Uh, Balassi, I know he's a dangerous player. He's got good dribbling ability, quick, and he's strong. So um, he is dangerous. He is a dangerous player. So if anything, we're just going to close him down and show him to his weaker foot. But that's about it, I reckon. And we'll go in and say passionately... I expect nothing but a win from this match. And the team should know it. This is a must win. You have to win it. Um, it's a no-brainer. This has to be a win for us. Come on, Van Persie. Get on. Tackle. Oh, punching is on. Oh, De Gea. Good save. That could have been a very good goal if he did score it. But luckily for us, he didn't. Yeah, Belanta in as well. Belanta, Evans, current centre-backs. That's the current situation. Yeah, Belant is really good. But I don't even need to tell you that. It's just, yeah, you know how good he is. And he just gets better um, with time. Come on. Williams is through. Evans. And Evans has been surprisingly good as well. And Falcao's on. Falcao. Ooh. Good chance. Van Persie. Oh, so close. It's Falcao. No. Witzel. Plays in Di Maria. Di Maria Van Persie. Oh, you have to finish that. Oh, my God. We have another chance. Quadrado. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on, lads. We need to take this chance in this possession. We need to make them pay. Quadrado. Can he get past? He <laughs> doesn't seem to. Jimenez plays in Van Persie. Back to Quadrado. Create it. Create it. Here he goes. Nothing again. Come on, we have to take advantage of this. Or well, they could make us pay. They might have one chance and finish. Which seems... <laughs> that's not... Yeah, that wouldn't be... No, oh, again, it's an error from De Gea. <sighs> I swear. Come on. We've got the possession. Falcao. Di Maria. Herrera in space. Witzel. He plays it through Van Persie. It's a goal, finally. Oh, no, not... Oh, why? We deserve that. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Gonna have to see the replay of this as well. It's very frustrating, to say the least. But there could be another chance here if we get it back. Here we go. Jimenez wins the header. Van Persie, now Falcao, Falcao, Witzel, plays in Di Maria, back to Falcao, wow, how many chances without a goal have we had, I'm not sure, but it has been a lot, Di Maria, finds Witzel, 
He tries one. Come on. Don't waste chances like that. Now Marco Rojo, or Marcos Rojo, sorry, has picked up a knock. Oh, it's been a good match, apparently. Well, not to my thinking. Definitely not. We need to be winning. I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. That will fire them up. Get them motivated. Come on. We have to win this now, surely. Herrera, Van Persie. Play it. Oh, what's the point of showing a highlight if nothing happens? Fuck. I've never got that, why they've added that to the game. A highlight at the start of a new half or start of the game when nothing happens. I'm sure no one likes that at all. <laughs> Falcao, Van Persie! Van Persie, finally we get the breakthrough! Come on! Come on! There we go, finally! Whew. That was good, Falcao. Played in Van Persie and it was a great finish. Van Persie. We need to assign another guy like Van Persie. A similar kind of striker, but I'm not sure if they'd want to join. Who there's probably few like Van Persie. Oh no. Puncheon. He tried one and he got it. First goal of the season, of course, and he was all there just waiting for it. He was waiting for it. He had the space. He took it. And that was a real good save. De Gea wasn't going to save that, especially when he's low on confidence and all of that. So, we're going to... I'm oh, going to have to take Rojo off. We'll bring on... No idea. We'll bring on Daily Blind. He's the only really other option. Uh, Falcao hasn't had a good game. We're going to have to bring on James Wilson on superb morale. Of course, Rooney is completely left out because, yeah, I'm trying to sell him. Um, who do I take? Herrera? We'll bring on... Will Hughes. Come on, Will Hughes. Yeah, leave him deep lying. Daily Blind. You have ability to make a difference and he looks happy. Uh, James Wilson, pressure off today. Yep, good reaction. And same with Will Hughes. So, yep, seem relaxed. There should be some good reactions. Uh, well, there was, and it should result in us doing something. But we have to go team talk. We have to go assertively. Say, show some passion. Come on. No. Nah, nothing's happening. So I have to push players forward into those yeah wing positions. Go real attacking now. And yeah, deep line playmaker, move to support. These are kind of changes I usually make. And yeah, the roaming playmaker is just support anyway. And that is Vitzel's yeah, best role. See, roaming playmaker. See, I really want that attribute changes to stay on, but... With this new skin, it's not doing that, and it's pretty annoying. And I usually like it on as well, so you can see improvements, of course. Come on. Balassi. Balanta, come on. Push. I don't... Oh, should I go overload? I'm not sure. Wilson, go! Go on! Wilson! Oh! So close. We're going to be pushing for it. All players getting forward. Will Hughes. Van Persie. Will Hughes. Di Maria. Finds Wilson. James Wilson. What a goal. Late in this game. And they thought it was offside. And luckily, the referee didn't call that. Was it offside? No, it looks like he was onside. James Wilson. Yes, lad. That's what we want from you. He's going to be a superstar in the future, isn't he? If he's doing this now, if he's doing this now, who is going to be good? He's going to be good because he's quick and can finish. So now we'll just avert back. Can you just go like this? If I just click on it, will it go back? I know. If I click on the counter one and then go back to the attacking one. Huh? Why does it change? It's not save like that, is it? Who knows? I'll just have to change it then. Yeah, defend. That's all I changed, yeah? There we go. Come on. Oh, Wilson is hurt, of course. Injury. It's just a knock, though, I think. But here, we'll just control the game. Just keep possession. Just hold on for the... Oh, please don't concede a late goal. Nah, game, don't do it to me. We deserve this win. 
Well, let's just see what happens. I'm intrigued. Okay, they wasted it. De Gea, don't do something stupid, please. Come on. I just want the points. Please. Descend it. Wilson. Finds Quadrado. Yes, it's going to be ours. Yes. No. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, here we go. Crystal Palace, no chance. Vitzel. Vitzel. Wilson! Oh, my God. This guy is a legend already. How good is James Wilson in Football Manager 2015? He can score shots like that outside the box. He's won this game for us. Look at that. I have a feeling Rooney wouldn't have had the same impact. <laughs> I just have it. That's a feeling for me. And he's only 17. Wow. And James Wilson goes again. Puts it in. Whew. Well, what an impact off the bench, yeah? James Wilson. Oh, he's going to be good. They're not going to be good. He is good already. Look, wow. He's, yeah, keeps improving. He's got 14 finishing. I reckon that's going to be like at least 18 or something in the future. Pace. Yeah, who knows how high that could... Maybe 20. Who knows? I know. Is that his first goals in the Premier League as well? It is. He obviously did well in the Cup. Yeah, cup competition, but now he's made an impact in the league eventually. It was, we did deserve to win. Look, 16 shots on target. Yeah, oh, we did deserve that. Easily. It was great. See, here, players joining soon. Man City win 3 0 with Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool lost. That puts Man City in a good position, and we're still a bit, uh, we're still a bit away from that, though. But yeah, at least that third position, we're looking pretty strong right now. So that's a positives right there. Uh, Witzel, yeah, expecting to start more games. I am playing him, so you've got to be happy. Gibson, whoo, how much more game? Five games away and we'll get 750k. Not too bad. It's still yeah paying dividends, which is decent. So yeah, uh, Wilson, he is making impact. And what more can I say? You can't really rely... Oh, oh, he's 19, sorry. For whatever reason, I thought he was 17. Obviously, he got mixed up between someone else. So, yeah, he's actually 19. Uh, but he he's good. He's good. He I didn't expect him to make this kind of impact this season, if any impact at all. I thought it would just be... You have the, um, Van Persie, Falcao, and Rooney, the main three strikers for the season. He's definitely made more of an impact. And, yeah, he's he's going to be golden for us. He's going to be good, and no doubt he'll probably get caps for England. I wouldn't be surprised if he does, but yeah, uh, leave your thoughts. If you're surprised about how well he's done, uh, to me, he's he's been a great surprise, honestly. Um, he's done a fantastic uh, job, and going forward, he can continue to do the same, I hope. But anyway, drop a like for this video if you enjoyed it, of course. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys next time.